Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. If you are new here, welcome to my channel where we do everything about coffee, because I am a coffee lover and hopefully you're a coffee lover. If not, hopefully this turns you into a coffee lover because that's what we try to do. So anyways, um, today we are gonna do what I have been waiting to do with y'all and that is dialing in some new beans. I just about a couple weeks ago, about a week ago. So I learned about dialing in espresso. I did work at a coffee shop but we already had everything set out. In the meantime, since I'm doing coffee for me, myself and I, um, we are going to dial in some espresso beans that I've been dying to try. Um, it is called fireproof coffee um i did not realize this but it is actually a christian coffee bean roaster um so that i thought that was pretty cool let's get to opening this package i'm just gonna lower y'all down here i level with me um so anyways don't look at the address please and thank you um i'm just gonna cut away at it a few moments later Three hours later. All right. Now, let us unbox. I am so excited about this because they like um, taught me into buying like a study set too, where it comes with like three different coffee beans. And so I'm excited about that because I always love experimenting with coffee, especially as a new beginner. Kind of frustrating, but I feel like it'll get easier with the process. All right, all right. Nice, nice. Ooh. Now, I did get an email from them. Yes. I got an email from them saying how, uh, I forget exactly how it goes. But anyways, they were talking about a give, getting a free t-shirt and I got you a free t-shirt. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no. I love free t-shirts. I love t-shirts in general. But this is this is a shirt that they sell. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be backwards on there, but it looks freaking awesome. The feel is amazing. It's comfort color, so it's gonna be amazing. That is so freaking neat. I love this. Thank you very much, Fireproof Coffee. Moving on. Oh, this is a neat. What I especially love about this specific roaster is that everything about them is like so vintage. And I I just love vintage, man. I am passionate about vintage stuff. That's so cool. Okay, moving on. This is the study pack. Okay, now. Wow, this is actually a bigger package. And look, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. These are just so freaking cool, man. I just, you can always win me over with neat packaging. Like, it's a dark roast. The region is Colombia. Colombia. And it's the stars and moon blend. Brown sugar, cherries, and nutmeg. That looks pretty neat, man. But today, we will be dialing in this one so I can make a latte with it. So let's go do that. Before we go anywhere, I forgot the barista outfit of the day. Um, this is a waffle top. I forget what brand it is. Pretty neat, got it for like a dollar at a thrift store. Dad jeans, gotta show off, gotta show off the dad shorts, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Anyways, um, also thrifted. I think I got it for like two or three bucks. And then a uh, natural life headband. Boom, boom, boom. Not sponsored, but I absolutely love their stuff. So, catch you later. I'm just gonna do a hot latte. I'm gonna do a hot latte and taste all the notes, all the notes, um, just plain hot latte. Um, let's look at the beans real quick. Look at this cute little spoon I got. It's a little coffee spoon. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let's taste one real quick. Mm-hmm. 
crazy. But if you bite it and it makes that crackle noise, that boy fresh. Fireproof coffee. I'm gonna go add, grab some water and fill up this bad boy. So I did learn that there is a specific brand of water that you should use for your coffee. And I had it, but I forgot to buy some more. So we're just using some good old Ozarka and hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. I really hope it doesn't because I do not feel like I'm going to Walmart to get some water. All right, so this is where stuff gets complicated. We're gonna grab the lid and scoop some of our beans. We're doing 18 grams. Bruh. All right, perfect. All right, the Baratza set 30. It has treated me pretty good. Uh, it has a dial on the top right here showing how fine, how gritty you want it. Um, whenever grinding espresso beans, you want it to you want it to feel a little bit like dust and not sand. I think that's what they said. You don't want it to feel gritty, you want it to feel powdery. Um, so right now I have it set at 10. Let's do 11 and try that out. But what I like to do before this is that I take my, my porta filter and I put it on the scale, weigh it, add the espresso machines, tar it, you know, that ordeal, just so I know I have 18 grams of beans. So I'm just gonna go over to the scale real quick. <gasps> no. Yes, very sad. Anyway. All right, we're gonna start this up. All right, so um, our scale does say 352. I did the calculations. My calculator did the calculations and it was indeed um, 18 grams. So we're gonna take this, let me move this over here and we're gonna tamp it. All right, we're wiping out the sides just to clean it up a little way. You don't want any coffee grounds in it or anything. All right, and we're gonna set this to the side for now. Um, and we're gonna work on prepping our espresso machine. All right, so I do have a little bit of difficulty using this espresso machine. I haven't really figured out the nooks and crannies of it, um, but I usually just let hot water run through the pipes, the, wor the works of it. So anyways, i um, just gonna let some hot water run through it real quick. All right, it is ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the microwave Kitchen timer, 20 seconds. Let me do 22 seconds. No, no, 23 seconds. 20, 20, 25 seconds, just to give me some time. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. All right, so that's gonna be on. And while that gets put on, I'm gonna set this up. Catch the water. All right. We're gonna turn this off. We're gonna set this in here. We're gonna tear. We're gonna pull. Four. 36 grams. We have pulled our shot. Here's our espresso shot. Smell it. I did not take a single sip. <laughs> All right, cheers. Usually if you don't make a face whenever you try it, that means it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna add milk to it and see how it tastes. Usually whenever I add milk, I get an idea of if I like it or not. Just straight espresso, I'm not too sure. It's usually supposed to taste like dessert. That one tastes like burnt 
marshmallow. It's a little bit on the toasty side. Now let's get to tasting. Hopefully this is a good experience. That's a pretty good cup of coffee if I do say so myself. Nice. pretty good but anyways guys thank you for coming on this journey with me of um espressoing um i hope you enjoyed uh i hope you'll come back for more um interesting stuff i don't know what interesting stuff it will be but it'll be interesting um so yeah thank you for coming along on this journey uh y'all have a great week day month what you need have a great one. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll see y'all again. Bye.